Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's Salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel. The internet is going crazy due to Candace Owens' departure from the Daily Wire, which is co-owned by Zionist shell Ben Shapiro. A brief background on the situation is Candace Owens is a conservative Christian that was employed by pro-Israel Zionist propaganda peddler Ben Shapiro. Candace clashed with Shapiro due to her anti-war stance on the Israeli occupation of Palestine and even her pro-Muslim and Islam stance in recent weeks, where she went as far as apologising to Muslims for the atrocities they have suffered at the hands of the West. Candace debating and roasting Zionist rabbis Shmuley and Barclay probably didn't help her case either and once again she was falsely accused of being anti-Semitic for simply not condoning the oppression of Palestinians. It did seem like Candace and Ben were just tolerating each other over the last couple of months as he recognised that she has a huge following and she utilised his massive platform. But with Candace branching out and appearing on a lot of alternative media and independent podcasts in the last couple of weeks, she has been trending non-stop voicing her opinion. And that basically overshadowed the Daily Wire's feeble attempts to whitewash Israel's war crimes and push their agenda. Muslim brothers Sneeko and Abu Tamaya linked up to speak on this and they blasted Ben Shapiro, comparing him to a modern day slave owner, as well as giving Candace props for her bravery and for finally being free from his clutches. Let's watch the clip. More people are waking up a lot since our first podcast. I'm seeing a lot of the mainstream conservatives like Candace Owens, shout out to her, she just left the Daily Wire. She's been very vocal about how Is that the the black woman can't sell and she she's Ben Shapiro is a raging Zionist and he's he's a big part of what's going on. She was very vocal, very vocal, very vocal, right? Yeah, she's Christian, but she's close. Like, uh, let me try and get something straight, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but she was using she was using the same platform as Ben Shapiro. Daily Wire. She was Daily Ben Shapiro owned her. Okay. He was like a slave owner. Uh, and then she's finally free. She broke the chains away from the, the Zionists. So, mm. you rest to her. And also, yeah. Tucker Carlson. I've seen little clips going around. Yeah. And what, did they fall out because she was being very, very vocal? Of course, it, it goes against whatever he's trying to pro propagate, right? Exactly, yeah. Huh? And they start um, rewarding all the Zionists that are public about Israel. They start putting them on the platform, even like liberals like Destiny. If they start showing allegiance to Israel, they'll put them on the platform even though they disagree about most things because they still the core value of Zionism is bigger than anything conservative or liberal. And Tucker Carlson, he also broke away the chains from his slave masters. He left Fox News and is talking about how Israel controls America. A lot of people are talking about it. Four months ago when we did our first podcast, it was still like, how much can we really say? Uh, even though I've, I've been very vocal about it, and you have too. But now people are starting to wake up. There's a, there's a mass, mass awakening happening with this issue. What do you think is going to happen? Are they going to crack down on oh, censorship? Are people going to riot? It's very, very powerful. TikTok is huge. Through the it. permission of Allah. Let me read out some stats that I came across. I remember I sent it to some of the brothers that give da'wah. Some great days. Uh, I think this will be powerful. Social media is the place to be if you want to get a message, especially to the next generation. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is what I came across, right? This article or this study. Gen Z and younger millennials are more likely to consume news from social media, with 71% obtaining news from these platforms at least daily, and 91% at least weekly. According to the American Press Study, it gets better, some 44% of Gen Z's report never receiving news and information from traditional sources, compared with 35% of younger millennials and 31% of older millennials, right? This is why it's extremely crucial. I always tell da'wah guys, right? And brothers that are graduating from Medina and different Islamic universities, we need to take over social media. We need to flood it with positive content, right? If you don't... They win. The enemies and the devils, akhi, they're gonna like just spread wherever they're spreading right now. So this... Uh, you know, this uh, wave that you see of people now waking up. Yeah, it's huge. It's through social media. It's beautiful. Right? As you saw from the clip, Brother Sneeko stated that the Daily Wire may masquerade as a conservative platform, but in reality, they are a Zionist propaganda machine, as they will be quick to include degenerate liberals like Destiny, who is a Dayuth and a member of the Rainbow community, on their platform simply because he supports Israel. Whereas Candace, who is a conservative religious woman who speaks up against the extermination of innocent civilians and children in Gaza due to it being 
being immoral is silenced because she won't say what the fake free speech charlatans at the Daily Wire want her to say. Brother Abu Tamaya was spot on when he said social media has been a game changer for Muslims to get the truth out there and to battle the Islamophobic propaganda waged against us in order for certain parties to justify targeting Islamic nations and demonising Muslims in general. The brother stated Muslims should flood social media with the truth, telling our side of the story, which we have done so and look at the result. People are seeing through the Zionist and anti-Muslim propaganda and millions have converted to Islam as a result also. Since the madness of Israel inflicting genocide on Palestine from October 7th onwards has been going on, people see the images of the war crimes being committed and are horrified by this and anyone who doesn't see this as wrong is being exposed as part of the problem. Brother Abu also stated that social media has more influence over people, especially the youth, more so than the untrustworthy mainstream media. I completely agree and if we look at the Muslim representation and presence online, it's a major factor as to why Israeli propaganda is not working, as the evidence shows clearly that they are lying. My brothers and sisters, even if you are not a content creator, your posts, your comments and the content you share in opposition to Zionist lies is so important and I encourage all of you to engage as much as you can, as long as it doesn't take away from your religious obligations. Let's take a look at a short clip of what Candace had to say about being freed from Ben Shapiro's clutches. Hey guys, it's Candace. The rumors are true. I am free. So much to talk about. Obviously, I'm going to take a couple of weeks here just to rebuild and to refocus and to create something that is actually mine and something that can't be threatened or taken because it belongs to me. I can't tell you enough how much your support has meant to me over the years. We're just getting started. You can support me and my work as an independent journalist, as an independent podcaster. Um, we're still going to be doing five days a week. There'll be tons of announcements coming in the next couple of weeks. Thank you guys. Big respect to Candice for having the courage to speak up and for standing firmly on her square and also for not selling out her models for a Zionist payday. She's been vocal about not only the atrocities in Palestine in recent months but also about how America was in the wrong for what they did to Muslims in Iraq and Afghanistan. She also has said that the states need to stop funding Israel and Ukraine, all of which doesn't sit well with the establishment. The easy thing to do would be to take the paycheck and shut up but it looks like this lady is not for sale. I honestly believe the Daily Wire will suffer without her because the rest of the presenters they have are either boring, fake or corny and I think her flying solo will result in her becoming even more successful and gaining much more popularity as she will control 100% what she can say and do. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. Or if you have more serious personal issues you need help with please feel free to book a call with me and remember to like subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content until next time inshallah jazakallah care Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.